To ensure that aviation continues to advance with more modern and convenient technologies, every aircraft manufacturer will eventually have to unveil a new model at some point in the future. At the recent Airbus summit, the European manufacturer shook the entire industry by hinting at the launch of the A360, its next-generation wide-body aircraft, positioned to outclass both the Boeing 787 and the 777X with the groundbreaking, unprecedented designs. So, what will the A360 look like that it could surpass Boeing's two flagship aircraft? How might it transform the aviation industry? Let's find out. If you've ever searched for information about Airbus's next-generation aircraft, you've probably come across some rather futuristic sketches. Some enthusiasts have imagined the A360 as a smaller version of the A380, with two engines and two decks. However, those are merely unrealistic speculations. After the failure of the jumbo jet, the European manufacturer is almost certain not to revisit the double-deck or even four-engine path. Today's aviation market prioritizes the efficiency of twin-engine widebodies, and Airbus engineers are instead focusing on a more groundbreaking future. So, what exactly is the A360? To compete with the Boeing 777X and future generations of aircraft, the A360 will not just be an upgrade, but rather an entirely new technological platform. This model promises to integrate revolutionary innovations that go far beyond what the A350 or the 787 have achieved. First, to deliver superior performance, the new aircraft is expected to incorporate a host of cutting-edge technologies. Most notable among them is the open rotor engine, a highly promising technology with uncovered propellers. Although still in development, this engine could achieve a bypass ratio of up to 70 to 1, an enormous leap compared to the 8 to 1 or over 10 to 1 ratio of the Boeing 787's GE, GE NX and Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 engines. Essentially, the higher the bypass ratio, the more efficient the engine becomes, leading to significant fuel savings. What is more exciting is that these technologies are not mere speculation. They have been under study by Airbus and its partners for years. They promise to deliver up to 25% fuel savings compared to today's turbofan engines, a figure significant enough to persuade any airline to invest in a brand new aircraft program. Second, to complement engine performance, the A360 may also feature folding wingtips, inspired by the Boeing 777X. This design allows the aircraft to have a larger wingspan for optimal aerodynamic efficiency during flight, while still folding at airports to fit existing gates. It's a smart solution to boost efficiency without requiring major infrastructure changes. Moreover, instead of relying on traditional flaps and control surfaces, the new aircraft could employ morphing wing surfaces. This technology would allow the wings to automatically adjust their shape throughout the flight to optimize aerodynamics, reducing fuel consumption, and ensuring a smoother ride. Finally, the fuselage itself cannot be overlooked. This jetliner will continue the trend of using next-generation composite carbon fiber materials, making the fuselage lighter, stronger, and more resistant to corrosion than conventional aluminum. If these promises are realized, the A360 will undoubtedly become a formidable contender. But why should Airbus even introduce the A360? Don't they already have the A350 and the A330? This is where things get interesting. Not the Airbus A35, but a brand new aircraft, exactly the A60, would be the true rival to Boeing's 777X. Airbus was very strategic in positioning the A350 not as a direct competitor to any single Boeing model, but rather right in between the 787 Dreamliner and the 777X. This allowed this Airbus aircraft to capture a unique market segment, serving airlines that need something larger than the 787, but not as massive as the 777X. However, the absence of a direct challenger has left a gap that the manufacturers have been able to exploit. Despite facing certification hurdles and delays in its development, the 777X has still managed to attract substantial orders from leading global carriers. For instance, major airlines like Emirates and Qatar Airways have placed orders for hundreds of these aircraft, signaling their confidence in its performance and superior payload capacity. That means the direct rival of the 777X would have to be extremely powerful. Therefore, to challenge Boeing's new giant, Airbus will need an entirely new aircraft, equipped with the most advanced technologies to outperform in both fuel efficiency and carrying capacity. That could very well be the reason Airbus is considering developing a new aircraft, unofficially referred to as the A360, an ambitious project that will take time. With these moves, the manufacturer is signaling that it is ready for a new race to reclaim dominance in the widebody market. In addition, 
Airbus may not only target the latest Boeing aircraft, but also focus on the Boeing 787's market, opening up a promising replacement opportunity. One key factor Airbus should take advantage of is the life cycle of the 787 Dreamliner. By the mid-20s, the first Dreamliners delivered in 2011 will begin reaching retirement age, creating a significant gap in the wide-body market. This will be a golden opportunity for the next generation A360 to step in, compete directly with the 787, and attract airlines looking for an efficient replacement for their long-haul fleets. At that point, Airbus could use the name A360 for an entirely new wide-body aircraft positioned as the successor to the aging A330. This strategy would mirror the successful launch of the A350, which met the replacement demand for older Boeing 777s gradually leaving airline fleets. However, you might wonder, hasn't the A330 already been succeeded by the A330neo? While the A330neo features many improvements and is regarded as a very capable aircraft, it still falls short in several aspects compared to the Dreamliner. The Boeing 787, particularly the Dash 9, remains the most popular wide-body aircraft on the market. Although Boeing faced production halts and numerous challenges, by mid-2025 the company still had 993 unfilled orders out of a total of 2,199 confirmed. In 2025 alone, the U.S. manufacturer secured an additional 243 new orders for the Dreamliner, making it the best-selling wide-body aircraft in history. Even when compared to Airbus's latest wide-body, the A3050, with 1,428 orders, the Dreamliner still outperforms in both orders and deliveries. What's noteworthy, however, is that most of the new orders for the Dreamliner are concentrated on the Dash 9 and Dash 10 variants, while the Dash 8 has seen little to no significant new demand. This is precisely the weakness Airbus could exploit. Instead of trying to compete across all segments, Boeing's rival could narrow its scope and focus on developing a new variant of the A360 with seating capacity similar to the 787-9 and Dash 10, but with greater range and superior performance compared to both. With such a strategy, the Airbus new widebody aircraft would not only serve as a direct competitor to the 777X, but also emerge as an attractive replacement option for the first-generation 787s once they reach the end of their service life. But perhaps the most interesting question you might be asking is this. Why would the A360 be a widebody aircraft and not a narrowbody? The answer lies in both technology and market dynamics. Airbus's rival, Boeing, has the 737 narrowbody family, a design that has gone through four major upgrades, 737 Classic, Next Generation Max, to remain competitive. Meanwhile, Airbus's narrowbody line, the A320, currently dominates the market, and its technology is still relatively new, having only reached its second major upgrade. For instance, the A320's fly-by-wire electronic control system remains advanced and efficient. In addition, its higher stance makes it easily compatible with new engine types, allowing Airbus to keep upgrading without the need for a complete redesign. This means that, in the near future, this European manufacturer does not need to develop a next-generation narrowbody to counter the rival. Within this context, Airbus faces two strategic choices for developing a new aircraft. Either create a competitor to the 787 and 777X, or a successor to the 757 to challenge the rumored 797, or perhaps even develop both variants, much like Boeing did in the past with the 757 and 767. However, simultaneously developing two entirely new aircraft programs would require enormous resources and carry very high risks. Therefore, Airbus must carefully weigh its options to make the best strategic decision for the future. How about you? What do you think? Please share your thoughts with us. Although Airbus has every reason to successfully develop this new wide-body aircraft, there are also significant challenges the manufacturer must take into account. First, one of the biggest challenges lies in the longevity of modern aircraft. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner, for example, was designed with a service life of up to 30 years, far exceeding the 20-year lifespan typical of earlier aluminum widebodies like the 747 or 777. This means that a Dreamliner delivered in 2011, such as the first one for all Nippon Airways, ANA, could still be flying well into 2040. This raises a major question. Can the A60 compete in a segment where rivals like the 787 and A350 are built to last so long? Airlines have already invested billions of dollars into their current fleets, and they have little reason to replace them prematurely. For example, a carrier like United Airlines, with its massive Dreamliner fleet, 
would not rush to purchase a new aircraft unless it offered truly groundbreaking advantages in performance or operating cost savings. The long life cycle of modern jets reduces replacement demand, making the market more saturated and riskier for any new aircraft project. Second, there is the issue of large order backlogs. Both manufacturers are struggling with massive backlogs, thousands of aircraft waiting to be delivered. These backlogs are not expected to be cleared until the 2030s or even later. Launching a new program like the A360 now would put even more strain on an already overloaded supply chain. Component suppliers, from engines and wings to avionics, are already working at maximum capacity to meet demand for the A320neo, A350, 737 MAX, and 787. Developing an entirely new aircraft would require suppliers to ramp up production and invest in new facilities, potentially triggering a major supply chain crisis that could disrupt the output of existing programs. For instance, production of the LEAP engines for the 737 MAX and A320neo has already faced serious issues, causing major delivery delays for both manufacturers. By introducing a brand new aircraft now, Airbus could inadvertently slow deliveries of its current bestsellers, harming not only itself, but also its airline customers. Third, there is the enormous financial risk. Developing a clean sheet wide-body aircraft requires an estimated 15 to 20 billion dollars investment just for research, development, and certification, not counting the cost of building factories and supply chains. This is a massive gamble, especially given the intense competition in the wide-body market. History has shown the danger of such risks. Both the A380 and 787 ended up costing far more than originally planned. If this new aircraft were to face technical issues, delays, or fail to attract enough orders to break even, the manufacturer could face serious financial losses that impact its overall business. Finally, there is the risk of undermining the A350's current success. The A350's smart market positioning has delivered strong sales for Airbus. By not going head-to-head -head with any single competitor, this aircraft carved out its own niche. Introducing the A360 could unintentionally cannibalize A350 sales, especially if airlines decide to wait for the newer aircraft. Airbus has faced this before. The introduction of the A3050 contributed to the decline in a 3030 sales. In conclusion, while there are compelling reasons to believe Airbus will develop a new aircraft, the financial, technological, and market obstacles ahead mean the company will have to think very carefully before moving forward.